Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout the Board Game, where you join us in uh, interesting times. I like this game. This is a good game. Uh, basically, the situation right now is um, we're sort of, you know, we're at the beginning of a little Fallout 3 campaign. I've stumbled across a crashed Enclave Vertibird, and my current kind of plan is basically, you know what, I might go and help those guys out. I might not. But there's also an opportunity to potentially be abducted by aliens, so I'm basically going to be rushing to that, because that just seems way, way better. So I might be going into the Mothership Zeta DLC momentarily. Claire, meanwhile, decided to just basically charge in power armor down to the south to fight tough enemies, to grind for experience, ran straight into a Deathclaw, and immediately brave, brave Sir Robin, he bravely ran away. Um, so well done there, Claire. Claire has unleashed the Deathclaw on the wasteland, and now it's coming to kill her momentarily. So this is all going to be good, good stuff here. Now, I believe it is my turn right now, in fact. This is me over here by Hoffman Farm, just kind of, you know, hoping to momentarily do the little alien quest. And Claire is the lovely Brotherhood outcast paladin over in that. Actually, she's not a paladin. That's too generous. Claire's not paladin rank. Oi! Paladins don't run screaming into Deathclaw territory, then immediately come screaming straight back out again. I said I was going to go <laughs> right back at him again now that I have a knife. Mm, now that you've got a knife, that Deathclaw doesn't stand a chance. Right, I believe it's me at this point, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Now I could do an explore action to basically uncover this tile, because otherwise I have to kind of go for a radiated territory over here. But I think I'm just going to accept an extra rad to travel back in this direction. So I'm going to do a movement, giving me two movement points. So that's going to move into over here, and then moving straight over to here. So don't forget to give myself a rad point over on my character sheet. So I went to two rads, and rads are difficult to shift, so that's difficult. If my rads and my health ever meet under any circumstances, I'm dead. So that's a bit on the difficult side. Now, what I've got to do for, I'm not saying it was aliens, is go to the area I'm currently in and perform a quest action on here, where I have to, in order to actually succeed, I have to pass a skill check of endurance and intelligence of three. Now, I do have an intelligence on my special, so this should hopefully work out. And if I can make this actually work, I will get an influence card. That's what the thumbs up on that quest card is. That could be very, very useful indeed. So, I have basically got to do a nice little roll over here. So I've got one re-roll on this. I'm just going to move these slightly out of the way. So I've got one re-roll on this. I need to get three little kind of uh, three hits on these dice. And I've managed to get... I've got three straight away. One, Ooh, one, good. and one. So that's slightly above the average. So that's absolutely fine. So I've got my three hits. So that now passes immediately. So I help myself to a nice little agenda card. So that there is my second agenda card. Marvellous. So I believe I've now got two agenda cards and Claire, you've still only got the one. Yes. It's very early in the game, so that doesn't matter because the agenda cards cap at four. So at that point you need to start discarding. So like before the end of the game, we will end up discarding agenda cards. So that's absolutely fine. So I have managed to... Yep, yeah, so I'm not saying it's Aliens has been completed. I've taken the agenda card. So at this point we need to add in... 105, I think 105, so 105 now gets, there's a lot of stuff actually now shuffled into these decks, there's a lot of good stuff going here, and obviously I do not actually see that, so we have got something, Ooh. is available, there's now a, a more things, I think there's now, there's two things available in the next few cards here, and also by the way, now we might actually shuffle the previous, in fact we will potentially shuffle the previous thing, which is the Enclave supplies are going to be shuffled back as well. Yeah, two-third chance that that's what you're doing right now. Exactly. So there's now all sorts of mad stuff basically available in the decks, as well as that old photograph is still available in the settlements. There's loads of good stuff in the encounters. Encounters might be a really good strategy at this point. Now, I've also got to stage 104 and put my flipping character on that stage card. So I'm now basically abandoning the Capital Wasteland to go up to 104. That quest is now completed. Welcome to the mothership, which is where my character now moves over to. Before we actually move over there, I'll actually read this out for us. So, the mothership. The radio gets a response. You accidentally contacted an alien ship. Survivors that are on the mothership can perform only the actions on this cart. Right. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. Uh, so... Basically, this is um, this is just for me, and I can't do anything but this. So, my options are fight my way to the bridge and bring the ship down to escape. Basically, I need to draw and fight 
a random guy who's got himself a skull. And it also gains the radioactive icon, so aliens are radioactive. Then I need to do an intelligence roll of four. Excellent. Uh, and if I manage to fail, then remove a cap from this card. Hang on. The... Do you have to place cap? first? It doesn't say that. Oh no, because the second option is attempt to communicate with the aliens and make a deal where I perform a quest action with a intelli with a sorry, charisma check of three. If I succeed, place a cap on this card and then if I can do that three times in a row, then I can basically get out of here. Oh bloody hell. So oh, I, wow, I, yeah. I, I either need to three times in a row pass a charisma check of three. You don't in, have charisma. I don't have charisma. No, I, I'm not charismatic enough to do that. So basically, I need to, I need to fight some bloody aliens that have flipping radiation. Now, this does not strike me as a good thing. I think I've made a mistake getting myself deliberately flipping abducted by the aliens. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you sad because there's not enough anal probing? I'm assuming the anal probing happened like at the beginning of, mm -hmm. of this. We just kind of cut that bit out, but it's a shame we don't get the details. So I'm currently just off in space. I'm just off in flipping space at this point. And I think that's actually the end of my turn because I double moved and then did a quest action. Yeah. So I'm just living over here for the time being. Well, now that you're stuck there and you can't do anything, I'm going to not spend any money. I'm just going to do... One movement here to the super duper mart, and uh, now it's time to. Oh darn start. it! Claire's gonna get all the good <laughs> quests. Well, well, I'm stuck in space. Claire's gonna get all the good loot. Yes. Gosh darn it! Yes, uh, yes, yes. There is movement inside the structure. You ready for a fight? But relax as a figure appears and hails you with a friendly wave. You may do one of the following. Mm -hmm. You may work with her to search for loot, where you have got a perception and charisma check of four. Or okay. you can decide she likely has the best loot, kill her, or you can ask the stranger to join you. Okay, so what was the first one with the check again? That is a perception and charisma check of four. Mm. Do you have drugs that would help with a perception reroll, though? You might be able to... I do, but I don't really want to use the drugs because I don't have any endurance. And it seems a bit early in the game to get addicted to drugs. I'm just going to work with her. I think that's the safest option. Okay, you're just going to work with her? Mm -hmm. Work with her is searching for loot. That is the check, you know. It's either work with her to search for the loot, that's the, that's the check. Yeah. Or it's kill her, or it's ask her to join you. Oh, sorry, I meant ask her to join me. Right, ask her to join you, in which case, um, start uncovering these cards until Ooh. a companion is present. If you meet its requirements, take that card. Otherwise, and then <gasps> after you're done, discard the rest. So no. you've just discarded stim packs. Ooh, load lifter. And you do indeed have the requirement yes. of him because his requirement in the top right is intelligence. So Claire has now gained a load lifter. Fine. And all the other cards have to be discarded. So that stim pack needs to be tossed away into the rubbish pile, unfortunately. Yeah, but you have junk. And if you get a second junk, you could go into the rubbish to get the stim packs. Yeah, well, I yeah, probably want the sniper rifle, to be honest. Sniper rifle is pretty neat. Anyway, load lifter is really great because uh, he allows you to have two additional cards in your inventory. Yeah, so, so your yeah. hand limit's now yeah. five rather than three, which is pretty good. Um, okay, and also you become idolised, by the way. Ooh. You become idolised. So Claire picks up the idolised trait onto her character sheet down there. She is now idolised. Uh, and also we need to add a card in. And by the way, we're trashing this card. This card is now removed from the game because it can only be done once. Uh, and now I just need to add a card in. So there's yet more cards being added. There's a lot of cards <laughs> being added into the encounter decks right now. Uh, this is being... That's another ruin as well. Very nice. So once again, I might be once again kind of shuffling some more cards further and further down. That is the end of the turn. So it's time to make everything move around, I believe. Yeah. So next up, we have got Ooh. the stars start moving in that direction. So the star just moves forward towards you. In fact, everything now basically just moves towards you. <laughs> Uh, well, so, yeah, because you're in space. Yeah, because I'm in space. So the fastest way for the mutant to get to you will be to come up to... Ah, I've broken the world. Possibly because I, f I fired the death laser, which is the thing you can totally do in Mothership Zeta. Uh, bring you back down. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Uh, so the super mutant moves as well. And that is actually it. That's a pretty small series of movements on this occasion. But the super mutant does indeed move in your direction. And the death claw is just basically waiting for his chance as far as I'm concerned. He's just waiting for a chance to murder you. Uh, so... Back over to me. 
in cocking <laughs> space. And okay, so I'm not well set up for this. I'm not well set. I should have camped before I came up because my Tyrion's not active at the minute, so I can't get any rerolls. Fortunately, the skull stuff seems to generally be pretty weak, so I probably can kill it. But then that's that's a probably. And actually, if I die, I can get myself down on the surface that way. Can uh, you? Is that how it works? Well, if you, if you do... die, the rules clearly say if you're killed, you basically end up down back at Crossroad Camp. So if I die, attempt to take the mothership, they basically just toss me out of the airlock. I basically fall to earth and wake up fresh as a daisy inside Crossroad Camp. That seems fair enough. I mean, this is going to... I mean, I'm not even sure I can do Charisma 3. So there's no point in me trying to do that three bloody times because there's no chance I'll be able to necessarily do that that so, would take a long time yeah uh what i can do yeah but if i do this i get three xp and also there's a bunch of extra cards entering the game and i can place my figure on any empty space which is kind of cool so i can basically just dump myself wherever it's convenient to dump myself uh which might be a whole bunch of interesting places like i could just find a really nice ruin out of the way like you know say the mall i uh, know but that's one space over from from the glowing <laughs> one uh but i could just you know maybe the raider camp say potentially or Okay, yeah. I have a question. Yes, a question. It says, draw and fight a guy, and once you've done that, you test for intelligence for... If you fight a guy and he dies, and then you fail your intelligence test, what does that mean in terms of, you know, do you have to complete all of that at once? I would assume I have to complete all of that as one action, because that is, um, like, that's a, like a, basically a quest action, if you like. Right, but you have two goes per turn, right? Because exactly. you have two actions per turn, you can't do anything else. Correct. So as it's not an encounter, it's a quest action, you can do it twice because it's presumably a quest action. So I have no real choice but basically to try and fight my way to the bloody bridge and bring the ship down to escape. So I'm going to select myself the alien. And the alien is, fortunately, I've been lucky. It's, Ooh, an, it's, a it's an alien scum. It's alien scum who have got, who's got himself uh, only level one, but needs two hits to actually take down. So I should be able to take him down pretty easily, but bear in mind he has radiation. Uh, the fact he's got radiation means if he gets any hits on me whatsoever, that means I take Rad's equivalent to his level. There's only one Rad. It's but not the worst thing in the world. he doesn't get um, a bonus damage because of the gun a bonus hit because of the gun because yeah. you're kind of because basically we're in, we're in the one space of the mothership right now yes sure so as a result i'm basically just going to roll against him and i've got nothing else i can do here and we have got ourselves against head and torso yeah actually that's worked out really nicely for me all things considered so i've got my head and my torso hit that i needed for uh, level one, but with shield. So he's taken the two hits down that he needs to actually go down. He did hit me, because I've got no armor. So as a result, my rads absolutely do go up by one. So, Raider Scum has been eliminated for the time being. Now, what I need to do is follow that up by actually testing against Intelligence 4. Now, this you is... You have one reroll. I have only one reroll. Hitting, yeah, getting four is going to be gonna be tricky so this is this is pretty much like this is more difficult than the actual fight is because plenty of the skull enemies are pretty low level so i guess we just have to see but i've got one reroll on me and Ooh. oh my wow oh yeah oh yeah that's the equivalent of rolling a six and these guys are only two out of six so that's a really good roll rolling a four straight up with no re-rolls is pretty damn amazing and this is not a fight this is a skill check so i'm not taking any damage here that is just intelligence four so i have passed intelligence four on my first go by sheer flipping luck so what we do as a result of that that's really lucky so one i gave myself three xp so i level up so i'm just going to go over here help myself to two special tokens and those special tokens are i just cannot get strength Strength is my weapon. I need strength, damn it. Um, endurance or luck? Which do you think is better out of endurance or luck, Claire? I mean, I would say endurance is quite good because it comes up a lot in the drug checks. Yeah, that's I'm not sure I'm going to do yeah. drugs. I think I'm going to go with... I might go with luck. I think luck comes up a little bit more often. Endurance seems to be more for drugs. But then the endurance perks are really good. Because they're basically just full refills of your health or reduction of your rads. So yeah. having endurance so you can access the endurance perks is really, really damn good. So... 
Is there any reason to go for any other than the other on the on the actual shop right now? I know there's nothing good kind of coming up in the shop that looks like it might be kind of relevant to any of that. So I'll go for I'll go for luck. I'll take luck, and we're going to return endurance. So right now I am pile. Um, I'm not special. I am just pile. Yeah, but if uh, you were to become vilified and then take Kate in the shop, who's quite yeah. good, then you have PAL okay. that you can. Now that was one XP. Against. That was one XP. So now I move myself over to I. So I'm still only three XP away from my next level. So Claire and I are about the same level right now, but Claire is currently. Yep, she's wonderful, and I'm not. Um, so we need to stage something. Currently. <laughs> <laughs> currently yes uh so we need to also add yet another card into the yes. encounter decks the encounter decks are flipping bulging like in both of our things that this did not happen anywhere fine, near you're coming back to earth soon right yeah but actually i can basically just land on earth and immediately do one of these actions because i've only done one action this turn i can place myself where i want i get another action yet so once again yet more stuff is being shuffled into the ruin deck right now the ruin deck is just flipping bulging with flipping encounters right now uh really good special ones so that's marvelous uh so that's now been added we also need to trash this but first we need to stage 107 and then i move my character wherever i want to and then we're trashing this this card the brotherhood airship has arrived Nice. Which is interesting. That's that's a bit Fallout 4 rather than Fallout 3, but it's what's just happened. So the Brotherhood airship has arrived. Having received information about strange occurrences, I'm very sorry, Brotherhood, the Brotherhood has sent one of their airships to the wasteland. Of course, this is not necessarily the Pridwin. It was Fallout Brotherhood of Steel that established that the Brotherhood sent a whole bunch of airships um, to the east from the west coast once upon a time. So this might just be one of those. So, place a quest marker on any space of the starting tile. This is the Brotherhood airship. At the end of each round, the airship moves one space towards the highest level robot on the map. Presumably if there are no robots, it simply does not move, therefore. Yeah. That logically makes sense. So, two solutions here. Help gather local technology for analysis. Kill any robot for an influence together with the next stage of this quest. Alternatively, the airship looks like it has some pretty fancy gear on board. Maybe you could borrow some. Go to the airship and pass a charisma, agility, and luck check of five. Ooh. Claire is well set up for that, and she's close by, but even with multiple rerolls, five is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Now, for that, Claire would actually get a unique asset, power armor, but she's already got power armor. Ah, yes. So, problem, actually, it might not necessarily be that useful, and she might anger the Brotherhood and get them very riled up. So, that is the new quest that has just appeared, and let's actually pick... What colour do you want the Brotherhood to be? I don't have a preference. Let's it can be the, orange. I'm going to so go for orange, because I believe the, um, the flags in Fallout 4 for the Brotherhood that you hung in your settlements were orange. Uh, now, I get to choose where the airship is going to be. Now, as there's a possibility Claire might actually want to go there, I'm going to put it as far away from her as possible. Unfortunately, I can only put it actually on Crossroads Camp, which is still pretty good. And yeah, right now at the end of each turn, it's going to start moving towards a robot, unless there are no robots, in which case it presumably won't. Next up, I've only used one action. So I now get to put myself wherever I flipping well choose. Uh, now, what I want to do is immediately put myself on some ruins. Uh, some good ruins, because good ruins are potentially going to yield really good stuff right now. The problem is, actually, the ruins are... The ruins are not very good. The good ruin is a raider camp, and the better ruins are down here, mm -hmm. and they're very close to this dangerous guy, and also full of rats. Yeah, there's a, so... level, there's a level one raider scum over there, but to be honest, he's torso and head... Um, I'm talking about this guy right here. So even if he opens fire on me, I'm pretty confident I can deal with him and clear him out without too much difficulty. So I feel like I might actually just kind of pop down on the raid camp. Or I could just kind of come down onto the Super Duper Mart and just do it there. I mean, at this point, I'm basically just... I mean, there's possibly strength in numbers for us right now. Yeah. Because then you might actually clear out some guys for me and then I'm not next to that guy. I mean, he doesn't have loot. So there's not much point me kind of being around there. Go on then. I'm going to decide that the aliens, or basically having kind of, you know, taken over the alien spacecraft, I'm going to drop myself off at the Super Duper Mart. Because why not? So this is where the aliens popped in. And I'm imagining that you are really impressed, by the way, because presumably you saw the alien spaceship kind of come down. I'm like, yeah, this is my ride, by the way. That power arm is very impressive. Very impressive. I've got an alien mothership, by the way. 
Outback, sorry, just let me lock that clunk. Ching, ching. Yeah, there we are. I just needed to lock the doors, make sure no one takes my alien mothership. Just keep that back. It's, it's kind of, you know, pretty flash. Ladies like it. Ladies like my alien mothership. Do they? Yeah, the aliens love my alien mothership. Wait, no. <laughs> the aliens, the aliens, yes. the aliens would also like my alien mothership back. <laughs> That is true. The aliens would like my alien mothership Ooh. back. That's certainly true. Right. So my second action, would you believe, is going to be an encounter in a ruin. Now, what's it going to be? A pillar of smoke rises near the site you are planning to explore. Oh, excellent. It's more flipping aliens then. You approach the source of the smoke and see a large, sleek metal craft smouldering in a crater. Ladies love my alien spaceship. Your crashed alien spaceship. Yeah, yeah, sure. A green liquid leaks from the craft. It could be dangerous. Could it though? Could <laughs> it? Right, okay. Okay, yep. your first option is to brave the radiation to explore. You have to do an endurance check of four. Oh, darn. Okay. And your second option is to leave the crash site alone. Oh, no. No! I promise, that's what it says! That's not fair! Mmm. Oh, that's gonna be so many rads if I fail that, but getting a four on a single roll with no rerolls is so difficult. Oh, the penalty is gonna be so. This is why it's nice, because Claire's reading this, I don't know what the penalties for failing or succeeding are. Um, so I'm gonna guess the, the penalty for failure is quite a few rads and nothing good. Actually, I might get something good regardless. Come on, don't be a chicken. I'm never going to succeed a four roll with you no re rolls. You did just before. Yeah, and that was extremely unlikely. I can't do the probability exact property off the top of my head, but that is extremely unlikely. Yeah, but just because you did an unlikely thing before doesn't mean you're not going to do it again, because that's not how randomness works. True, but... You just want me to do it because it's going to screw me over badly. I see the look on your face. No, I'm walking away. All right, you get loot equal to the level of the settlement. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm glad I did that then. That's fine. And you get to add this card again. Okay, so this card gets put back in. So you're probably going to try and do that at some point. Marvellous. Excellent. Mm. <laughs> I don't oh, have any dear. rads though. So right now I don't have to... I'm not worried about finding rad away at the minute. Mm -hmm. Fine, but I get, I get loot equivalent to level. Yeah. So I get two loot cards. That's absolutely fine by me yeah. so i get myself ah i get some armor uh it's Ooh. not great it's probably the worst armor to be honest raider armor so basically it's just it's equivalent to one if the enemy has a gun otherwise it's worthless yeah but it's not as bad as the there's one piece of armor that's like so ugly and creaky mm -hmm. that it actually prevents you from doing charisma or agility rolls yeah and fistful of caps which i'm swapping for three additional caps there of course so, I've got plenty of money right now. Loads of lovely money. Oh, wow. Uh, so, that's the end of my turn. Claire, over to you. I'm guessing you're doing the same thing. Shockingly enough, I'm going to encounter. Claire is also going to encounter. So, yeah, the mothership's on the stage, so this card gets trashed and we encounter the next yeah. card. Yeah? Let's do that. Okay. I didn't want to go and get probed by aliens anyway. Excellent. So, there was, this would have been, had the mothership still been present, then Claire might have also been abducted and might have helped me get out of the mothership. Nope. But uh, as it turns out, no, that is not the case. Marvellous. A few faint scratches on an old wall indicate an enclave cache. Ooh. Pushing a rusted cabinet aside, you expose the hole in the floor and drop down. Inside, a hooded figure dozes. Okay. Now, your options are back out and look elsewhere, drive her off, or ask what happened here. Charisma check of three. I'm going to do the charisma check. I want to talk to River Tam. Okay, so ask what happened here. Charisma check of three. Okay, let's see this. So, so let's see if Claire can actually get this. And not that. too unlikely with a reroll. Says she rolling terribly. Oh. Okay, one. Uh, Great. Claire doesn't. Dice. Dice are hard. Come on, she needs. Come on. Fail, 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 fail. Absolute failure. Total failure. Oops. Unless, do you have any drugs that you could use to sort this out? Are either of your drugs? I don't think for a charisma roll. No, not I... for charisma. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Failure. She flees. After a long chase, you emerge in the daylight, but she is gone. So, uh, you move one space of your choosing. Okay. So, you move one space to represent you chasing her, I suppose. 
And in addition, we now add in... Yeah, this gets trashed. You've screwed your chance with the Enclave here. Yeah. This gets trashed and a new thing gets added in instead. So number 47 now gets added into the deck. So I'm going to add that in. Now, I'm really glad that just happened because otherwise, next time I did an encounter, because you burnt one then did that, it would have been guaranteed I'd have run into the mothership again. Mm. So now, now we've actually got some better stuff going on here, which is marvellous. So that is absolutely beautiful. And now there is luckily an extra two mixed in so I don't just run into mothership again because otherwise I knew it was going to be mothership because you'd taken two out and it was somewhere in the top three. Yeah. So that actually works pretty nicely for me. Okay, so you've got one action remaining at this point, and you've moved away from Super Duper Mario. Claire, where are you off to next, then? Is that guy with the gun... He is currently adjacent to... He's adjacent to both of us, and were he to attack, he would attack you because you have the lower hit points. That's how right. enemies choose who to attack if they have a choice. I'm going to move into his spot, so I'm not spending any money to move further. Okay. I'm moving into his spot. If he attacks me, he can't use his gun because I'm too close now. Yep. And then next turn, I can fight him if he doesn't get aggressive and then go to the raider camp. Okay, that's true. Uh, though if you did spend the money, you could get the raider camp now, because then you could do a fight action and an uh, explore action. Mmm... That is true, but I want to make sure... Your money's getting a bit yeah. towards the lower side. We're actually we're pretty flush in this game. In our, both our test games, we did not have this much money. This is quite a lot of money in our experience. Don't expect to always have this much money. But yeah, Claire, you've said you're done with your turn, or are you going to yeah. spend the money? You're done with your turn. Fine. So in that case, it's time to turn over some more enemies. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, fine. So, aha! So, first oh, up, no, 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 the no. nasty bastards are coming to hunt for Claire... I say there's no reason to assume this death claw goes anywhere other than straight Just up. up yeah. It doesn't really matter which way he goes. Oh, and then he has the highway, the valley. To yeah, go the up. death claw's coming up mm. on us now. The glowing one, he logically is. It doesn't really matter who's closest to his closest route to get to us. Would it be one, two, three, four, five, or can he actually make it to? No, he can go one, one two, two, three, yeah. four, five. So let's say he goes the more direct, sensible route. So he moves on to this difficult terrain around here because these guys don't actually care about any of that. Just close up the hexes. I like a nice, tight, neat hex. Right, so that's all of them. Oh, no, no, it's not. We've only done one of them. Right, the super mutant's also coming. He's getting closer yeah, in a hurry. Yeah, he's definitely using that. And the bugs and are the activating. the bugs are coming in too. Yeah. So bug one moves over there. And that bug activates. And that is a ghoul. It's kind of more pests, I think. Like, yellow is supposed to represent, like, low-level pests. So it's Ooh. ghouls, bugs, etc. And that one's aggressive as well. That's an aggressive feral ghoul. But he's... Yeah, ghouls are easy to take out because they've got yeah. heads, um, chest and legs. So they're incredibly easy to knock down, uh, all things considered, which is nice. Uh, so, is that your lot? I mm -hmm. think that's your lot. Okay, so moves back over to me in that case. So, obviously, I'm sure you appreciate... I'm straight back into the ruins, please. Obviously. Not, please not tell me it's not the cocking spacecraft again. Two other scavengers approach you yes. with a nervous smile. We've heard about a good Samaritan around these parts. If you are idolized, you can <sighs> offer them help. If there is another idolized survivor, you can give them direction to that survivor. Or you can laugh as you attack the naive fools. The thing is, we had this card show up in a previous game. Claire is obviously the person they're looking for because she's idolised. If I send them towards Claire, then Claire basically gets a big pile of stuff out of it. Claire yeah. gets loads of free stuff. Yeah. Um, if I was to murder them, I could have some of that stuff. I'd probably become vilified. I'd probably become vilified. Mm. But... Oh, come on. Sorry, what are my options again? Give me the options. Uh, you can give them directions to me, or you can laugh as you attack them. Is that literally it? Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, look, if you were idolised like me, you could have offered to help them yourself. But, you know, you're not a good, amazing, wonderful person, so... I'm going to work under the assumption that... Oh, dear. If I attack them, do I get any stuff, though? I don't know. If I know, I know Claire gets a ton of stuff if we actually, if I basically just kind of send them in Claire's direction. I don't want Claire to get a bunch of stuff. I can't remember if I get anything, though. I think I might get something, like maybe some XP or something, but I can't remember. 
Oh, balls. Fine, I'm going to send them over towards Claire. I might get something out of it, I don't know. Yes. What, do I get anything, or is this just for you? You become idolised. Uh, well, it's a bit late for that. <laughs> okay, now I'm idolised, can I change my mind and just accept no, their good... No, no, no. Balls. Would I, would I have got anything had I said the other? Uh, you would have had to draw and fight a dude. Yeah, would I have got anything? And become vilified and gotten a bit of uh, loot. Uh, Two loot. Anyway. Two loot, I might have should have done that. They thank you for pointing them in the right direction. They beam at you, clearly impressed by your generosity. And I get two loot and two money. That's not that great. It's, it's not that amazing. Do we trash no, that? Yes, Is that trash? Do. Yeah, that's trashed. Fine. Yeah, it's not that great because we're at a level two settlement. I think last time we played it, you did that at a level at Megaton uh, or something like that. So yeah. that was quite impressive. Would you give me two caps, please? Two I don't want to. No. I'm well, sorry. yeah, but you have to. Don't like you having money. It means you can make your power armor work. Okay, I have another magazine, Guns and Bullets. Mm -hmm. If I don't have A, I can discard to gain some XP. So that's another thing I need to sell. Yeah. Um, because, yeah. And then I gain a uh, Robot Pals. Another Robot Pal. Uh, oh, you've got so... Codsworth, is that? Yeah, that's yeah, Codsworth. Yeah, Codsworth. What does he do? Um, you can exhaust him to trade with one other survivor anywhere on the map. And then I get to keep him unless I'm vilified, because if I'm vilified, he doesn't want to stay with me. Yes, he's a good robot cop. Yeah, so I'm going to keep him in my inventory for now. I have five things because I have load lifter, uh, but I'm now very much uh, thinking I should go to a shop at some point because yeah, you're I don't up. really want to die now and lose like potentially this much yeah. stuff. The problem is there's the shops right now are a little bit inconvenient because shops are basically this symbol right here. So Megaton's a bit on the difficult to get to. Yeah, depending I might have to on turn what's that here. Entirely, yeah. Yeah, depending on what's here, we don't really know what's going on here. So there's another shop down over here, but that's a bit out of the way. Though actually it's not that out of the way because of the highway. Yeah. So it's relatively accessible, but albeit it, rads. Mm, rads, yeah. There's also down here, there's a Pentel Estate, state, but, but that's that's no-go central. Yeah. This right now is no-go central. Difficult terrain and all the monsters around here. But the monsters are going to start closing in on Megaton fast. So Yeah, so I guess then I have to decide whether I continue by exploring this these tile and maybe seeing if there's an easier path to Megaton. Yeah that way uh or if i'm going to go this way and take some rads now that was my that was my first action was it not uh yes that was my first action um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to for my second action i need to get my tire iron back and working and mm. i can't encounter a second time yeah so i'm going to camp at the super duper mart in order to get three hit points back that seems really 13, sensible. And also get my tire iron back. So now, in the event of a fight, I can now actually get a free reroll. Mm -mm. I still haven't got flipping strength. It's so annoying, I don't have strength. Uh, I've got like four things now, and none of them are the one I actually flipping want for my weapon. It's very irritating. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. Over to you, Claire. Now, has that changed Ooh, your mind about yes. what's coming up next? Oh my goodness, yes. Because you could head to the raider camp. And just kind of do an action there. Or you could move once, uncover that tile, and see if you've got a clean run at Megaton. Yeah, the problem is, if I pay to move that, yeah. and uncover that tile and whatever, I kind of still end up stuck there, you know. Oh, it's You've got enough it's money, for goodness sake. Don't be a cheapskate with I your armour. I just armor. don't really want to die without, um, True. you know... Well, if you want to take the absolute safe bet, then pay you pay one money, take a double move action, and start sprinting towards yeah, Hoffman that's Farm. Yeah, that's my other possibility. Yeah. But Hoffman Farm is only a two town, and I would have to that's you know, true. pay twice. We to... haven't explained this yet. The most common thing that you find in towns, by the way, is a town action basically says you have um, an equivalent number of... Um, shop actions to the level of the settlement. So in the event of a level two settlement like Hoffman Farm, then both buying and selling counts as one action. So Claire could only sell two things and then wouldn't even be able to buy anything back. The bigger settlement, the better. And right now we haven't got a massive settlement on the map I at all. I think exploring needs to happen. So I'm going to spend a cap mm -hmm. uh, to go down here for one and then explore this tile here. So we're just going to turn that over. Claire mm. gets to decide where the mutant goes and then we'll reconstruct the board. Yeah. Ooh, Ashbury Road. So that's a one settlement town. That's, that's just not great. 
Okay, so we've got a little town close by to Megaton, but Clara's also got a fairly clear run, albeit depending on what bug shows up. We need to spawn a bug in. And also, mm. Claire gets to decide where the super mutant is, and I'm going to guess she's just going to decide as far away from possible over on the far side. Yes, indeed, that makes sense. So, you've still got one movement point to go, and also you've got to spawn in a bug. Uh, there's a bug, oh, yes, there's a, of course. There's a bug spot there. There is a bug spot there. Uh, so one bug. But bugs tend to be very low level, and that is a basic level one mole rat torso. Very easy to take out. And that's something we haven't seen yet, by the way. The backwards arrow uh, basically means even if the mole rat wins, it becomes inactive after the fight. So it will basically pose minimal challenge to anyone. Though actually, you can go, you've got this path right here. Yeah. That brings you only... Then you it. can get into Megaton without spending a point next turn. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been considering it. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, that's um, probably your safest bet. At the it's minute. also safely, you know, uh, yeah. one full tile away from that guy. Yeah, so. the Feral Ghoul might be able to get to you if he activates next turn via this route, but he's level two and has, you know, yeah. you'll be easy to take out. Like, with your armor, you'll be fine. And then you've also got this guy, but... Yeah, the problem is if this guy goes into Megaton, then I have to go and fight him because otherwise I can't ah, do anything. Ah, but you've got a, you've got a choice with him because if he's coming for you and there are two equally viable routes for him to go to, you get to choose which route he goes on. Oh, that's all right then. And therefore you can just say he moves to here. Yeah, and I don't care if I die as long as I get to sell some of my stuff first. Which you'll be able to do, yes. Yeah. Lovely. Is that your lot? That's me done, yeah. Uh, so now we need to move some enemies around, yes? Mm -hmm. Let's find out if any of them did actually move. And the answer is... So, the angry people start moving. So, uh, you presumably... Actually, has he got a shot at me? He does, doesn't he? That's... Yeah, that he's the on the adjacent tile to Okay, you. so I've got... So, that guy's activated but doesn't attack me immediately. That guy, the Raider Scum level 1, does attack me. So, I've got to be stuck in a fight with him immediately. Let's also... Claire just starts moving those people around. So, that looter also moves up a little bit. Before we move on to the next tier of enemy... I've got to fight the guy with the gun, so he'll get an extra hit in on me, and I need to get an extra hit in on him too. This is a little bit concerning, but actually, no. No, 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 look. For once, my radar armor's actually going to be useful, because that guy does have a ah, gun. Yes, so my armor does count for one in this case, so I've actually got some defense. Uh, All right. So that is a head and a torso. That actually works for me. So that's the two hits we need for him to go down. That's absolutely fine. And then he gets... He would get two... Increased to three by gun, reduced by one because of razor armor, so back down to two, two multiplied by his level one, two hits. So he goes down, and I also get one XP for killing him. That went pretty well, all things considered. Let's just move him off the board, and I'm pretty sure he was from the Raider Camp. Yeah. So put a new downturned guy on the Raider Camp there. And a guy who is angry is spawned in the Super Duper Bar, but that doesn't affect me because uh, he actually spawned in this turn. And this guy is going down to Ashbury Road. So he's in Ashbury Road. Mm. Is there anyone else? And there are still no robots on the map, which is unfortunate because the quest is literally calling for robots. And none have spawned in yet. So the Brotherhood Airship's just floating around saying, I'm sure there were robots in this part of the world. Can we just take a wrong turn somewhere? This doesn't look like the Commonwealth to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can also go to the airship and do uh, this quest right here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can't. You could. Actually, oh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. Actually, I could, you know. If it's actually, yeah, you killing yourself is the fastest way to get to the airship. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ah, working on it. Ah, I see your plan. Okay, very clever. Right, so it's over to me now at this point, mm -hmm. isn't it? Right, okay, so probably what I want to do is continue just basically <laughs> encountering like crazy, because I've got surprisingly little, surprisingly little, like, in my hand for the amount of flipping that I've actually been yeah, doing. Yeah, you keep getting fistfuls of caps, though. I keep getting fistfuls of caps, that's true. So I've got plenty of money, but other than that. So probably I ought to do, unless there's anything better. No, I kind of want to stay away right now, because right now you're in the middle of Hell Central. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to let them all kind of come at you for the time being. Yeah. So I'm going to move myself uh, two turns, uh, two moves, rather, over to the raid camp. And this is going to be the cocking spaceship again, isn't it? A pillar of smoke Cock! rises near the side. I hate everything. You can brave the radiation to explore. That's a uh, check of four on endurance. Or you can leave the crash site alone. Leave it alone. I've already got rads at three. Okay, so you gain uh, loot equal to the settlement. Oh, I'd forgotten I got that. That's actually what I wanted. That's fine. Uh, so I can get three loot. That's nice. 
And then we add this card back again. And this card gets brought again. Right, I'll shuffle that back in in a second. I just want to check the loot. So, the loot I've got is... Oh, yes. Right. Double junk. That's... Ooh, very oh, very good. This is where life gets sexy for me. So, I've also got two companions. I've got the iBot and I've got Piper. So, Piper can be exhausted to explore adjacent tiles. So, I'll probably keep her in my inventory for now because, I no, I'm not near anything that needs exploring right this second. And the iBot exhausts during my turn until the end of your turn. You may perform non-fight actions as if you were in the space adjacent to you. Okay. That's pretty darn nice. So I'm going to set him as my companion. So Clara and I both have robot companions. Yes. Just yours, basically. Use yours to carry your bags. Whereas mine is my actual helpful, friendly, useful buddy. During my turn, I may discard this card and another junk card to gain one card of my choice from the shop or from the discard piles. I am going to do that right now. And I want to have a look see what's actually in the discard pile. First. I don't think there's anything that good in here, is there? I think the only interesting thing in the discard is stim packs. Yeah, I don't want the stim pack. I, instead, in that case, am wanting to sacrifice my junks in order to have uh, the sniper rifle. Excellent. Value of 10. So that immediately gets brought in. That moves over there. Now, sniper rifle, item, weapon. During a fight, basically, if I get a headshot, it always counts, even if the enemy is not vulnerable to headshot. So basically, rolling a six now will always work even in the event that the enemy isn't, it shouldn't actually normally work. And it's a P and A reroll. I have both P and A. And because it's a gun, I can shoot at people from adjacent tiles without actually going over to them. Oh, this is so good. Now, the only downside is it is I can't actually choose to fight an enemy who's in the same space as me. I need to actually move away from the enemy to begin the fight. But other than that, I'd say it's actually pretty darn good all things considered. I mean, it's got to be with a value of 10, like, you know, they have set up the game that this is supposed to be good. Speaking of which, oh, I should have deliberately gone vilified. I could have got a free Kate at the shop. Ah, never mind. Can you just choose to go vilified? Or do you mean in that action that we did? Um, no, I can't choose to go vilified, but in the action, I should have killed the good Samaritans just mm -hmm. for the sake of doing that. Now, a new person just entered the shop because the shop always has to be at four, so we've dealt the shop up to four. Curie. Exhaust to recover five hit points, and if you have ten or fewer hit points, keep the companion when unexhausted. So basically, she'll just stay with you as long as she needs to stay with you. And Claire could get that oh, yeah. for free, and potentially that's actually it's a good companion to have. You might just you know be willing to give up on your just kill yourself plan. If you just have a companion, you can just exhaust at any points to gain five hit points. Not yeah, bad. Although, yeah. Not flipping bad, I'd mm. say, especially if you get it for free because you're idolized. Yeah, that it's, is it's true. A freebie. Uh, um, let's. see. The... So that's, is that the end of my turn? I did the, I, yeah, moved, yeah, I moved, did the thing. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So and once again, oh, and I need to shuffle this back into here as well. Meanwhile, so, I'm... meanwhile over to Claire. Yeah, lovely. I'm going to uh, take one movement and go to Megaton. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm if not desperately surprised. Action. Right, a shop action for Claire. So these are a little bit interesting. Oh, Okay. Oh dear. Okay. So, as you pass through the crowd, you see a familiar face. She's far older, but there's no mistaking her. It has to be Margaret, the girl from the photograph found in the wastelands. Oh yeah, that. Now we have to figure out whether Claire's desire to, you know, find the truth about Margaret is actually able to overcome her desire to just go shopping. So, <laughs> well, it's nice. You know, your it's options, nice your options are: approach Margaret and tell her about the dead man in the wasteland, charisma check of three, or leave her alone and go shopping. Charisma check of three. Yep, charisma three, which you should be able to pretty yeah, easily do, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you don't get I'm to go shopping. Well, you don't. You shouldn't tell me that because I might still get to go shopping. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Um. That is very dangerous to do, to not go shopping right now, to get the bot that gives me more health and to sell some stuff. Especially that as that, that, yeah. that glowing one is right there, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. I'm gonna leave her alone and go shopping. Leave her alone and go shopping. She likely has enough problems without hearing about some corpse. Besides, you have stuff to sell. You do actually, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, begin shopping at the level of the settlement that you are currently in. However, this card does not get trashed. It now just re-enters oh, the shop good. pile. So it may show up again later. 
Right, we just had to break for lunch due to uh, memory cards and batteries and other things I don't normally have to think about because, as it turns out, recording board games is quite a bit more flipping complicated than, like, you know, recording video games, which is very irritating. So, um, if the lighting's just, like, changed quite significantly, that's why. Uh, it's because it's gone dark. So, Claire, in the new shop of five items, you have got... Wait, how many actions do you have? You've got three actions to buy and sell, five decent items, and... Quite a few things to sell as well. So how are you going to square this circle? Well, I don't really know because I have these two companions I could get, either Nick Valentine or Curie, mm -hmm. who I could get quite easily, both of them, because I meet the requirement. But Honestly, Curie seems pretty good. Yeah, the thing is I'm just about... If I use Curie once, I'll get 10 HP. So then I'd have to wait until I'm under again to... Unexhaust, mm -hmm. uh, unexhausted, or it would go away. No, if you have ten or fewer. So if you did her once and then unexhausted her by camping, you keep her because you would have ten. Oh, I see. That's a fair point. Um, so you can actually use her to get to fifteen in like just a couple of turns with a camp and with a camp mm -hmm. action to unexhaust her. Add on another. Oh no, because the camp action no, itself. The order of things there would have to be. Yeah, you'd count yeah. to gain three, and then you'd actually be moved up to 13. Then you wouldn't be able to keep her. Yeah, fine. Mm. But in all fairness, a single use of her and a camp would be combined I'd up to eight. first. Yeah. And then, yeah, n never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm more concerned about all the stuff that I have to sell that um, I'm not going to be able to get rid of everything. So I might just throw away my magazines because I can't use them because I have... Uh, Luck and agility, but I'm not going to use the drugs. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to sell the drugs for four. Okay, so the drugs are worth four. I will get you those. So that is four for the drugs. They go in the discard pile yes, over there. Yes, they do. Thank but you. If you want to give me free drugs, that's great. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure they belong in the discard pile. Not quite. Uh, so I might have to discard those magazines later, but I'm going to keep them for now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I will take... Curie is my third action. Yeah, because, but bear in mind, if um, at the beginning yeah. of your turn you swap in Curie as your companion, you'll then have to immediately discard your hand down. Two, Which is three. fine, because I don't really want those things. Okay. So. Yep, and I believe you moved and then did a shop action, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm done. Yep, you're all done. So, in which case, time to get everything in the world moving. So we've got, aha! Oh, flipping dear! Oh, no, no, so, no, 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 Yes, 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 actually. Uh, so, Deathclaw Man moves in your direction, and Glowing One Man has invaded Megatum. You now have to fight the Glowing One. And, ooh, well, this is going to be interesting. So, headshots only, level two, and he's irradiated. So, presumably, the fight starts straight away, and I can't do anything here with my hand. Yes, because I double-checked the rules on this. You can make changes to your loadout at the beginning of your turn, or when you first acquire an item for the first time. Uh, you can't just make changes on the fly. Well, I might have to die. So, um... death might be about to happen for Claire here, because a glowing one just attacked Megaton, and she's decided to step up. Basically, you know, all the townspeople went, Save us, save us, you're wearing flipping power armor! And she's like, I really don't want to do this, but now kind of... Basically, Claire's going to die due to social embarrassment. Social embarrassment. Uh, no, Claire's going to die because she's idolised, okay? The people rely on me because I'm great and good. Oh, that right? reminds me. I realised during our lunch break, I camped and never took well-rested. So I need to take the well rested perk, um, which I never took. Basically, that means I can turn that in for a free reroll, and you get that when you camp. It's one of the things you get when you, when you camp. You get three hit points back, you get well rested, and anything that is exhausted, weapon or companion, you restore. Yeah, and I haven't camped at all, so... Yeah, uh, so I need to remember I do have a well rested. So, Claire, let's see what you can do. How many rerolls do you have? You've got the two rerolls, right? Yeah, I've got the two rerolls of okay. the combat knife, and I so... need the headshot, so it's not headshot. like I'm going to have too many legs. Okay. So that should be fine. <laughs> that's oh, great. Yeah, you've got you one, one head. Headshot. You've got one that's head already. Bad. That's that's good start. That's a good okay, start. I'm going to reroll once. Yeah, fine. For agility. Uh, and I've got to re-roll that again, so yeah. that's my last re-roll now. You've got nothing else you can use to re-roll? Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so let's stack this up here. So she hasn't killed the glowing one. The glowing one just now basically just stands there and just basically chills out a megaton as the people basically gather around Claire. So going, boo, boo, you suck. 
um, because she failed to save Megaton. Megaton is now just occupied by Glow and Silver and just stuck inside doing nothing, so that's a shame. Uh, so, you get to deduct two of those hits due to armor, yep. which is nice, uh, but one remaining hit does hit you, multiplied by two due to the fact it's level two, and unfortunately you just took two rads from a level two enemy because he was irradiated. Ooh. So Claire is literally just alive, just flipping alive. But only just a single a single rad or a single hit will now finish off Claire once and for all, and the death claws on its way. Yeah, great. Just just FYI. So that was the um, that was the uh, monsters. Next, we have got robots, of which there are still none, which is unfortunate because <laughs> a robot is required for a quest. And then it is these guys. So this guy is presumably he's one, two, well, three, or towards. one, two. Yeah, okay, he is still moving towards you. You yeah. are still the closer. Uh, and this guy is going to move this space towards me, and that guy is going to activate. And that is who's that? That's just a, a re regulator. Regulator with a gun and some loot on him. Marvelous. So that is all of that done, I believe. Mm -hmm. In which case, back over to me. So that nice little level two raider psycho, I believe, does have loot on him. By the looks of things. So does the regulator, right? Uh, yeah, and the regulator is... he's Yeah, he's got loot and he's got guns, but he's level two. Actually, they're identical. They're both uh, torso and... Yeah, they're both torso. Uh, but I kind of want to be moving vaguely towards making a move towards a town, because I'm going to soon have enough stuff. So I'm going to do a move action and move into the space of the Raider Psycho. Oh, and so he's aggressive, so you he's don't have aggressive. to spend a fight Exactly. Action. So he's going to get straight on me. Uh, that is... I shouldn't have actually done that. Actually, no, I need to do that because this is the thing is my, my rifle gives me benefits when I'm at range. Um, and the thing is I can only perform a fight action when I'm fighting. I can't choose to fight an enemy in my space, mm. but I'm not choosing to fight. I'm moving yeah. into someone who attacks me. So I still get my sniper rifle, because that's not... You can only use this weapon then. It's it, When you perform a fight action, you can't choose to fight an enemy in your space, which is fine. I'm not choosing to fight. Um, so I'm just basically running up to this guy screaming with a sniper rifle, because I totally understand how sniper rifles work. So the gun right now doesn't count for anything. Instead, I'm just getting my roll and then two re-rolls, one off perception, one off agility. So I am well set up with this sniper rifle right now. So I just need two hits... Body and legs, which is not too difficult to do. And in fact... Two body hits. I've got two body hits right there. Am I willing to accept two damage from a level two? The thing is, if I re-roll, I might end up with the worst. You have two re-rolls, though. That's um. Decent. Zero, yeah, zero is more likely than two. So what I might do is I might just re-roll one and see if I can just happen to get a zero. Uh, just to save myself a bit of health. And yeah. there's zero. Uh, so I'll just take that. I won't bother risking my final reroll because there's too much risk of that. So, in which case, uh, kindly remove him from the board and replace him with a new uncovered person at the Super Duper Mart. Uh, there we are. Nice, uh, face down person there. Lovely. So he's over there. He was level two. So I get myself a level up. Very nice Out indeed. of that. And I also need to lose two hit points, did we say? Yeah, one hit for two yeah. hit points, yes. Fine, because uh, he did not have a gun, so my armour does literally nothing. Now, let's see what we've got coming out of the old special pile. And the answer is... Uh, strength and endurance. Finally Ooh. get strength, now it's no longer relevant to me in any way. So I'm going to take the endurance. Because I think it comes up a little bit more often in the checks. So let's just quickly move all of this around. There we go. Right, so uh, that was my first move action. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second half of my move action to get to the Super Duper Mart, which is now currently oh, unoccupied. Very nice. And I'm going to have a ruin action because we still haven't got the cocking, the enclave thing. Remember no, that no, we have Because it keeps getting shuffled further and further down. <laughs> it just keeps getting shuffled further down. It's got to show up sooner or later. All right. More scratches on the wall indicate a second cache. Oh, fine. Actually, this was you found the first one, didn't you? Yes. It's just you failed the check. Inside, it is clear that almost everything is still in place here. This is what the survivors are looking for. Okay. What are my options? 
First, you can gather what they need, but hide the rest for yourself to retrieve later. Ooh. That's a four check of perception and intelligence. Okay, I've got both of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, second, you can gather it and return to the crash site. Mm-hmm. Uh, third, you can forget them and take it all for yourself. I'm going to go for that first one with the perception intelligence check. That seems okay. like that seems like a good middle ground. So a PI4 check, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, PI4. That's absolutely A-OK. Okay. So... That is... That's not bad. That's not starters. not a bad starting point. But I think as we discussed previously, my best bet is... Because the thing is, I need to roll one six in here to make this happen at all. That's mm -hmm. the downside of the of a four. With only three, you need at least one two in there. So... Uh-oh. 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 This is looking more dubious, actually. Um... Okay. Ooh. Oh! Very oh. nice. Oh yes. Oh, that was. I was. I was basically ready to throw away well rested because I could have used well rested for another reroll there. Thankfully, not required. Okay. So over to success for that one, please. You return for the hall later. Complete either national treasure objective. Mm -hmm. So you can pick, and then you get the amount of loot uh, of the. Um, Settlement you're on, not settlement, ruins you're on. Uh, it's level two, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Super Duper Mario is level two. Um, okay. And in then which... we'll trash this. Okay, in which case, I'd say the Enclave can come down another step. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Because they seem, I think they're misunderstood. I think they're good guys. Good guys who just want to make America great again. Oh, great. That's great, actually literally great. what they They literally go around with little propaganda bots basically promising to make America great again. That's literally their thing. Perfect. <laughs> so anyway, you have chosen to complete uh, the... Sorry, what, what, do I get for, what do I get for that before we trash that? So you get two loot. I get two loot. Okay, so I'm going to have to discard one of these, but that's fine. So my loots are Day Tripper as a drug. And metal armor as armor, but that's CNA rerolls, which we've kind of established previously, kind of trash. What I'm going to probably get rid of is Piper because this stuff is at least valuable. There is at least good money to be had mm. out of that metal armor, so I can sell all that at a shop. So I'm going to put Piper into the discard pile because screw Piper. There we go. Uh, okay, is that everything I get out of that one? Yes. Does uh, that get trashed in that case? It does get trashed, and then you choose which of the two objectives you want to uh, complete on National Treasure. That we have done. I also get three XP for that. Yeah. Yeah, for completing National Treasure. Uh, so one, two, and three. So we're most of the way to another level, which is marvellous. Now we are going to be trashing that after we stage 49 and 67. Uh, so moving on to... Two, we've had, it's been a while since we've had some new quests coming in. So, uh, 67 we've had before, because this basically shows up in every single uh, game, in uh, fact. Ah, yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, we've had this one before. 67 is Vault Rumours. So the Vault quests start showing up. So every year, new unfortunates appear out of the wasteland, claiming to have been banished from an underground bunker made before the war by a company called Vault Tech. Perhaps it is worth investigating. So, we can either kill any individual who is of the skull type, to basically say many of the Vault Exiles are caught by raiders, you might be able to get something off one of them, so go find a Vault Prisoner. Or, see if you can find an old Exile who will sell you information. Perform a quest action in any settlement and also spend for caps. That leads in a different direction in both cases. And the other quest, this is a new one to us, we haven't seen this one before. One more silver dollar. The survivors explain that they are mostly scientists critical to the Enclave's current mission. Retake the wasteland for humankind. You see, what a good mission. Mm -hmm. What a good mission. In order to continue their work, they need someone to make contact with the Enclave to request a medevac. So, what we can do is report their location to Enclave soldiers. Go to Project Purity or any space that has the shield symbol on it, indicating a member of the Enclave, and then pass a check of uh, Perception Intelligence 4. Okay. Or, alternatively, report the Enclave's emergence and this looming threat to the Brotherhood of Steel down at the tower. So either we're going to Project... Ooh, yeah. So either we're going down to Project Purity down here, where we need to pass a uh, Perception Intelligence check of 4, or we're going way down over to here, where there is no check whatsoever. That is simply perform a quest action at 
the tower. Maybe it's supposed to be the citadel? But if it's the citadel, why isn't it just called the citadel? And also, why isn't it more like it's... Own? I don't know why that's the tower and not the citadel. Because it feels like that's where the Brotherhood base is, but... I don't know, it's called the tower. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, also... We have got anything else we need to set up there? No, nothing else gets set up yet, but this will uh, basically lead to, uh, yeah, different people starting to spawn onto the map there. That is all of that. That is, I believe that's my turn done. I moved twice and did that search. Yeah. Yep, lovely. So, Claire, over to you. How are you going to react to the fact that you currently are almost dead and surrounded by some of the worst of the worst monstrosities? Well, I'm going to try and kill the glowing one again, and when it murders me, I'm going to respawn over there and then do that quest with the Brotherhood airship. Ah, very cunning. Okay, fair enough. Get yourself some ludicrous armor there. Lovely. Yeah. So, straight away you're performing a fight action. Yes, I am. I mean, I can't really do anything else over there, so... Oh, do you know what? What I'm going to do first okay, sure. is I'm going to explore this tile over there. Ah, because the, this one. This okay. green one, yeah. Yep, fine. If you would turn that over, please, because that way, um, you know, when I die, that's not wasted. Uh, because I'm very likely to die even if I do take him down. Okay, nothing much going on over there, to be honest. Just put a little buggy bug. And kind of, it's continuing the little kind of the, the ring ah, of yes. inhospitable terrain around this whole area. Although you can easily get... Um, yeah, there's, there's an easy access from this way, but there's a lot of flipping red around this side of the map, which is mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And one little baby rad scorpion, who are not that terrifying in this game at all. Uh, fine, so you've done one explore action, now you're going into a fight action, I'm assuming. Yes, indeed. Into uh... the fight action you go then. I mean, you might win. Yeah, though, if I kill it and it also kills me, I'm not quite sure the order of things. But let's see. Okay, so headshots. Literally none. Literally none. Let's reroll everything. Because okay. I have two rerolls because I'm attacking it with a knife. Uh-huh. Great. Great. No, no headshots again. And Perfect. also damage to yourself thanks to the legs. Uh, don't worry, only counts on your final roll. So one more roll. Come on. Now let's get all sixes. Let's get all yeah. sixes here. Come on, Claire. We believe in you. Oh, there was one. There that's was, not enough. <laughs> there was one, yes. Oh, but he, he doesn't do anything to me, though, because that's only two um, uh, hits. Let's see. That's true. And the rules do say if the enemy gets a hit on you, then you gain rads. But he did not get a hit on you, mm. so you don't gain rads. So you failed to die. Yeah. Well, let's just let's, wait let's and just, see let, if he just, gets angry mid-turn. Let's just um, let's just kind of visit the ballad of Claire here for just one second, which is <laughs> the town. Basically, Claire was shopping in town in her power armor, and the townspeople said, "There's a glowing one outside. You've got to save us." And Claire was just like, "Vine, I will save you, townspeople." Oh no, I failed miserably. And the townspeople were like, "Boo!" And then Claire was like, "Don't worry." In order, try again! I, no, and then Claire was immediately, don't worry, and I'm, because of my shame, I'm going to go and kill myself. Then she failed at that. She failed to kill herself against a giant, glowing, radioactive monstrosity. I wasn't trying to that, kill myself for my shame. At this point, the booing has intensified. Mm -hmm. The booing has intensified. Oh, and I forgot to do the Curie thing at the beginning of my turn, which I should have done, but ah. yeah. Uh, if I survive the mid-turn, <laughs> I will do that at the beginning of my next turn. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Right. Um, speaking of which, is that you dumb? Yeah. In which case, yep, the enemies are on the move. Let's see if it's going to be... No. You've been you've been Phew. saved for the time being. So... Well, you say this, The but... super mutant is on his way. Hang on. The super mutant is one, two, three from me. Oh, or yeah. One, the two... super mutant is oh, going no, for me. Oh, no, only one, two. Yeah, super mutant is totally coming. No, 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 no. There's an adjacent there. What? There's a... There's a... There's a border there. Yeah. With me. He's oh. shooting me. Uh-oh. Right, okay. So, yeah, first up, actually, is there anyone else who might want to shoot you? Because you get to choose the order if anyone does try and shoot you. Uh, um, so no, this, this uh, looter that is looter going to moves the spot in next there. to me. This looter moves towards me. That guy gets revealed, if you could just reveal him. And... That is just a raider. Yeah, that's fine. I might have done if I kill so. him next turn. And then also robots, but on robots. Fine. So basically, uh, he's going to attack you, and he's he's not so bad actually. Level three with mm -hmm. uh, but he gets a if he keep gets a bonus hit. So I forgot to swap my companions. I'm going to lose my Curie robot. Oh dear. Well, only if you. 
If you can kill this guy without taking any hits. Yes, I can. Okay, so he's getting an extra hit. Uh huh. He's getting a free hit of shooting me with a gun, right? Or rather, it's a- it acts as plus one hit, yes. Plus one hit or plus one damage? I'm almost certain it's plus one hit, but to the rule book, because uh, I'm pretty sure it just counts as a plus hit. I mean, it's this most likely a hit. I'm sorry I'm rule lawyering on this. Yeah, I'm we're, just this a bit is, we're, going into, we're going into the rule book here. We're going into the flipping rule book. Uh, so, fighting. When this enemy activates, again, fight from just space, if it does this. If you do not have a ranged weapon of your own, add one hit to the dice result. So, that does logically mean that hit would be multiplied by his level as well. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I need to kill him. Uh-huh. Or, you know, I need to do a roll that has only one hit on it. Um, well, you can have two hits because of your... Oh, yeah, one hit because of... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay, yeah, go for it, Claire. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. We've... Head and arms. It's not the easiest at all. Not the easiest in the world. And especially if you kind of manage to throw two dice onto the quest log and one onto the table. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I have adjudicated and said Claire is allowed to re-roll this. But if she throws them off the table again, she's disqualified and loses the game. I'm sorry I cleared, all right? Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Here's how you roll... You know what? You can, you can have... The... What you do is you get dice and you do that with them. Okay. All right. So... Technically, if I wanted to, I would have killed him now. Uh-huh. Uh, no, because he's a three. No, he's so a three. three hits. He's a three. So this is two, which is already good, but uh, it does have a hit on it. Yeah. So, um, it's not possible to kill this guy without... Um, it's, in fact, impossible because um, the ones that don't have hits are legs and torso. Ah. So I'm actually in- absolutely incapable, dice-wise, to murder this guy without taking... Uh, three full hits, mm-hmm. plus one of his gun, Fine. which would be like six hit points, and I... So ba- so basically you three. yield, which doesn't make any difference, because he can't do any... No, rant- no, okay, but what's the order, though? Because if I re-roll, yeah. and I manage to get a third, and that's a hit on him, mm-hmm. do I, like, kill him and get the XP and then die, or do I just die first? You are going to the rule book quite a lot these days. Okay, I just went to the rule book twice now, and I feel like that was warranted, that second one. The enemy hits you first. If oh, the enemy right. kills you, you do not get to hit it. Because the enemy's hits are always applied to you first. Next, you inflict hits. Well, I lost all my robot files and um, and my magazines because i So I'm that goes in the discard pile. A silly, and uh-huh. I forgot to uh, swap them over. But you get all your health back. You reset to a position of your choosing in Crossroad Camp. So here. Yep, so right on top of the Brotherhood's airship right there. Lovely, right under the Pridwin. Lovely. Um, And you do have a keep your rads. Your rads stay as they are. That Mm. is a thing. And that's the end of your turn. Right. So that was... Actually, that was the... I'm an idiot. That was between... No, that was between turns. That was between turns. Fine. So now it moves back over to me. In which case, I think I might do a double move over to the Brotherhood airship. And then do a quest... I could do, you know. I actually could at this point. Claire is poking me with her, with her poking stick. Yeah, there you go. Um, That's being caught on I camera. could actually at this point. I could generally do a double move action round the brotherhood. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I could, you know. Don't I... do that. You're incredible. <laughs> actually, I'm not well set up for it because I don't have the C. Rolling mm-hmm. a five with only two re-rolls is tricky. Um, so, okay. let's Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I guess. Uh, however, I could get myself an influence token nice and easy by killing mm. the raider on the same turn as me. Uh, no, actually, I'm I'm not allowed to because I can't do a fight action in the same space. I need to move away from him to get basically... I just need to basically say, just hang on one minute while I go set up over there with my sniper rifle. And he's totally fine with that because he spawned in there. So that's absolutely fine. So I need to move away one space in order to shoot him with a sniper rifle, and then that's absolutely fine. Um, what space are you going to? I could go to this space, because I know that's adjacent to him, but then we both have guns, so it cancels out, so he doesn't get any benefit out of that. 
Well, uh, if you were going here, then yeah. you'd still have the same kind of access down. But if you want to go sideways after... I think I want to go to Megaton anyway, because I've got a oh, bunch okay. of stuff to sell. Uh, so I want to go to a good city. Uh, unless I've got anything important I need to do anyway. But you're right, I could start heading down towards the tower, potentially. Or I could start heading down towards Project Purity. Well, you're not well. very well set up for the tower either, to be honest. Oh no, wait a minute. That's the airship one. Where's the tower one? The ta the towers the towers here. It's either project oh, project okay. purity yeah, or yeah. tower. So the a, tower doesn't have a check, so that would be there's, good. There's a good there's a good spot on there. The check PI four is pretty okay for me though. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Four's, four's not a terrible check for me. But we don't really know. We don't know at yeah, all. Yeah, we don't know any what any here, of this so is. Um, if you were going down to the tower, it would be an easier go of it. Cause, I think I I need yeah. to head to Megaton anyway, so I want to kind of cut through here. And yeah. I might need, I know there's some bad stuff around here, but we'll just have to see what happens. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna move from the Super Duper Mart out over to here in order to use my sniper rifle to get a shot at this guy because I physically can't attack him on the same space that I'm actually on and that will let me complete the first stage of vault rumors which actually gets me an extra influence card immediately which is pretty good uh, so because I've got the sniper rifle I get a free hit now this is one of the nice things like the gun if you've got a gun that's a free hit now mm. imagine how you because a free hit you don't have to worry about hitting the vats anymore I can go up against because it's just an extra free one damage yeah so basically, I can go up against like a death claw or the glowing one, only to get one hit. I need to get one hit against this guy or two hits against this guy because the sniper rifle gives me a free bonus hit. Then go chop which is, chop. which is much easier. So what I need to do is get one hit against chest or legs against this guy, and I've got two rerolls to do it. So that's fine. So two. Okay, that's a chest that's safe. That's, and then a chest that damages and arms the damage. As I've got the two re-rolls, I'm just going to re-roll one of these to see if I can get a more safe one because I don't have any armor against someone. Oh, I could have gone for the bounty, but then I'd have up one armor. I'd have one armor because the raider armor counts, but screw it, whatever. Um, I won't re-roll that because it might come down as two. So that is just uh, four damage to me. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a bit on the dicey side. But he dies if you could kind of just replace him with uh, a new face down laddie. Okay, I get myself 2 XP for killing him. More importantly, I have just completed kill any guy. So I immediately draw an influence card. So that is rather interesting. Three influence cards, that's flipping right. Uh, so the other thing I need is I just did one move action. Now I need to do another thing. I've got to be careful where I move at this point. Because if I... Well, one, my health's... Actually, my health's really low. I've got to be careful with the sniper rifle. Because I can... I can get the bonus hits, but they are getting hits back on me. Which is a little bit on the concerning side. Um, I mean, I might just want to reset my health, to be honest. Um... I might just want to reset my health and by just killing myself because I'm down to five hit points at this point, which is a concern. Can we just actually Two confirm, by the way, this guy is in the city and this guy is... Is this guy next yes. to the city? Yeah. The thing is, and the floor's there, the, going to Megaton seems a little bit ambitious at this exact moment in time. To be perfectly... No, you'll be fine. To be perfectly honest, uh, that seems a little bit, little bit dangerous. Um... Okay, I will maybe... I, mean, I could just go for another... No, I've only got one move action. I can't do anything other than just move at this point. I will... I might make just a sprint down for the tower just to see if I can make it. Just... This um, feral ghoul is aggressive. I know he's aggressive. Uh, we'll... Exactly, we'll see if he... Because if he... if I you know, happen to get past here, I might be able to get through here sure. pretty quickly. So I'm just going to move myself down another tier. Because if I happen to be able to kill him, I get to level up and that will be a useful thing. This equipment's not great. Maybe there'll be another shop nearby. That'd be flipping great. So we're going for another roll against all of these lads. So... Let's see what we've got going on here. So, head, torso, or legs. That's plenty of options. That's plenty of flipping options. And... Okay. Oh, very nice. Torso and torso. Torso and torso. Yeah, but that's not good enough. Because he's still... Isn't it? Uh, it's good enough to kill him. 
it's not good enough for me to survive the fight. Oh, I see. I need all... Th that's a really good start, but I need in these two re-rolls, this to come down on one of, I think, three sides that have... No, two, two sides. sides. Two yeah. sides that have zero. Zero, zero, one, 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 two. Um, so I need this to come down on a no damage in two rolls. So two rolls at one third time apiece. Oh, nice. nice! So he actually does die. I get myself two XP for that. Uh, he goes down, which is very, very good indeed. Uh, I need to draw myself... Yeah two of these laddies and my special thing's filling up so I might end up with P and I. Oh. Now, this is an interesting one. This is very, very interesting indeed. Um, Because I is basically... Oh, you can get a swift, swift learner, learner. Perk. And that might lead to even more perks. Yeah. So I'm going to return the P and just shuffle all of that around and what have you. I'm sorry, I've, I'm, I'm uncovering multiple things. I'm uncovering things by accident. Just shuffle, shuffle all of them. Fine. Uh, so I'm going to keep the eye, but I already have the eye. So the eye also gets returned. And at that point, I basically now I'm going to take Swift Learner. So actually, I'm going to check what the what the other one was. What's, what's the other one for for eye? It's, Wasn't it a gun nut or something? Yeah, a gun nut. Take a gunner you're choosing from the store. Yeah, you're right. Um, so ignore that. Instead, now I take two, and basically I get to keep both of them. But if they turn out to be repeats, I also get perks. Yes. And the answers are oh, nice. C. So I get a oh, C. Oh, you're special now. I'm pesh. I'm special. Oh. Um, but the A oh, oh, is oh, I already oh. have. A oh, A is the best one. We know what A is because that's come up before. I mean, a, there's a second A perk, but no it's one not cares about the other A one. There's A has sneak, discard sneak until the end of your turn. Enemies in your space do not prevent you from performing actions, and enemies with aggressive do not fight you. Or there's action boy or action girl, discard to perform two additional actions. So, well, if you're going to be rushing down as well, like you could discard it right now and explore and move way more. You're not wrong, actually. I think I'm going to discard that immediately, put that straight back into the flipping deck. So we're going to see what happens right now. So number one, we're going to be... So how many... Did you do one move action or... I've already... I've done one... Wait. No, 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 no. You moved, you fought... And then you moved again, yeah, because I moved off to fight him with the sniper rifle, then I moved to fight an aggressive enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So, you've so done I've, two I've done my two actions. So I now have two actions remaining. Uh, so now we turn this over, and we see... Okay, not the easiest, fastest route through, to be honest. In fact, that's actually pretty slow. Uh, and there's also a red thing right there that I'm just going to put over here, over in the... Actually, I'm going to put him over here, just in the off chance he doesn't activate or do anything. I'm just going to put him out of the way because then I might be able to skip past him. And also we need a face up one of you. And that person is there. I mean, arguably, it might be faster for me just to go down to here. Yeah. Um, and... Well, that's a nice through tile as well, but then you'd have to uncover a dangerous tile. Mm-hmm. I could camp and revisit what's going on elsewhere. Um... I mean, that strikes me as sensible. I mean, it's definitely better for me to go down to this tile than try and go through all of this. Yes. Definitely better for me to cut through here. Um, so I've now got one action remaining, don't I? Yeah, and one action means two movements. So if you actually went down there, you'd kind of lose out on one of your movements. I go to here and here, and if I'm next to the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood are ranged. So this guy's a ranged guy. So if I go to here, then here, then I'm under attack from him and from him. And Depending that's... on what activates. Yeah. I am turn. going... I'm going to camp. I'm going to do a camp action. I'm already well rested. So one, two, three. Back up to eight. And that is me done there. So at least, you know, I've uncovered a bit of the map and I'm a bit healthier. But that's the end of my turn. Claire, over to you. All right, so for my first action, I'm going to uh, do the Brotherhood Airship Arrives one. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, so I have to do a five check on Charisma, Agility, or Luck. 
So let's see if I can do that, because I haven't had the luckiest dice rolls. And more, can Claire actually manage to roll dice without <laughs> destroying anything or throwing them off the table? Yeah, who knows. Um, okay, so... Okay, so that's one. That's not great. Okay, so that's... Let's be honest. I'd, I'd just keep... I'd re-roll all of them until you get at least a handful of twos going on. Okay, so I have four rolls, don't I? Yeah, you've got that. Now you've got... Yeah, that's this yeah, now. That's, that's first roll. Now it's re-roll number one. Oh! Oh! There we go! Wow! Very okay. nice. That was clearly the luck roll. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. So... <gasps> What happens as a result of this, Claire? I gained a T sixty E power armor. That is what's your current power armor? T forty five. That's a big step up. Mm -hmm. Right, so she pulls that out of the special unique equipment deck that's only for special quest results. So very flipping la di da, but you yeah. don't get an influence card for that. I don't. However, this power armor is three armor and does not have movement penalties. It can also be treated as strength. During any uh, skill checks or what yeah. have you. Lovely. So, you know. And I can very, sell very... my, like, six... Uh, yeah, you can just sell the old... cap power yeah. armor. Five ago. Very, very nice indeed. Mm. That is not nothing in the slightest. So that's one action. And also, hang on, what else do we need to do for that quest? Because that quest is now done. Stage 109 and add 110. Okay, stage 109... And there's a new quest coming in. Is that it? Yes. That's it for those? Okay. Oh, look at how I can go to a ruin without spending money with the rest of my turn. That is absolutely true. Uh, so hang on, the... Is this one? Hang on, why haven't I trashed that yet? I should have already trashed that. I just did that, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you should have. I should have done that, okay. And you did in stage 68. Let's okay. do that right now. Okay, we need to do that because we forgot to stage the quest. Oops. Okay, it's fine. Everything's under control. Right, first things first. The new mysterious event is now just being shuffled into something. So now somewhere inside the actual old ruins is something pertaining to the Brotherhood. We're not sure what it is, but there are now some stuff there. We have got ourselves two new bits and pieces. So, number one, signs of life pertaining to the vault thing that we should have done earlier. So, the raiders had one of the vault dwellers' wrist-mounted computers on them. With this, you should be able to contact the people on the inside of the vault or interact with its computer. Ooh. So, either I can simply go to Vault 84 itself and do a quest item. And Vault 84 right there. is already uncovered. It is literally right there. As long as I've got a companion, which I do. Because, well, interestingly, it says you need an extra set of hands. You're the worst companion, floating sphere. <laughs> He's got hand attachments, okay? We'll plug on the hand attachments to ED. It's 100% fine. Um, so either I can just go to Vault 84 with any companion, or in any town whatsoever, I can do an intelligence and luck check of four. Uh, but yeah, I'm right next to the flipping vault anyway, so I may as well go and take care of that. So that's lovely. Very, very lovely indeed. And other than that, we have got ourselves... Hang on, so the new one over here instead. Brotherhood Control. Enraged by the theft of their power armour, the Brotherhood has put the Wasteland on total lockdown. Whoops. Good, Good work, Claire. Do not discard the airship. At the end of each round, the airship moves one space towards the highest level settlement on the map. Oh. Okay. And to encounter... Any ruins, you must first draw and fight a Whoa. skull a skull enemy, and you must apply plus one to its level. I don't care, I have this really cool power armor. Thanks, Claire. You've, you've officially <laughs> ruined the capital wasteland for everybody. The wasteland has been completely flipping ruined. So, the solution to this quest... Uh, get the airship to leave once and for all, so encounter ruins until you find a Brotherhood Vertibird, which presumably you can therefore use yeah. to get up to the, um, the ship and blow it up, or lay down your arms in front of the Brotherhood. So go to the airship and discard a weapon as an actual little bit of uh, as penance, if you like. So that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Lay down arms. 
Near down flipping arms. So basically, what we've uh, managed to just conclude there is Claire's managed to officially ruin the capital wasteland for everyone by putting it under martial law. And now there's flipping bandits and monsters of horrifying strength literally everywhere. So thanks, Claire. You've ruined everything. And I, I am right on the edge of going and investigating a vault. So I would that say... That was my first action huh? of this turn. I haven't had another action this day. I was trying to do the outro, but fine. We'll let Claire do the. We'll let Claire do I, one I, more I action. I thought you'd You can do it if you like. No, I no, just... no, Claire. What's your other action? Are you going to lay down arms in front of the Brotherhood? Are you kidding? I'm just going to go over here, super duper mart. <laughs> what about laying down? Uh, what about laying down arms, Claire? I'm. I'm not doing it. All right. Why is Claire not laying down arms? I like down having arms? a really nice power armor. I'll Claire, ladies out. and gentlemen, Claire. We will pick this up tomorrow as we investigate the vault and see if we can undo the damage that Claire has done to the Capital Wasteland. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been Fallout, the board game. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over... Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.